atheist group forced a public school to remove a portrait of Jesus Christ from campus, claiming it was an egregious violation of the First Amendment. Now, do you understand what they're doing? Uh, who, who is somebody who is a, uh, is a history buff here? Do you realize that even if you hate Christ, it's very important to know what Christ taught, since Christian doctrine is, in many instances, the basis for the entire belief system of the West. I would argue that it's very important to know who Muhammad is. And I'm not Muslim. I have no desire to be Muslim. It's important to know who Muhammad is because his belief system is pretty much the basis for the Middle East. Therefore, it is another reason why this is just simply a disastrous idea and an attack on the individual rights of you and I. And it's not going to stop with Christians. It's going to go on to when nobody can speak anything whatsoever unless it's sanctioned by the government is where this is going. The Freedom From Religious Foundation, Freedom From Intelligence, said they were pleased the Chanute, Kansas school district acted quickly to remove the painting of Jesus, which had hung on the town's middle school since the 1950s. I conferred with legal counsel and both of them told me in compliance the state and federal law that we have to have it removed. The Chanute Public School System Superintendent Richard Profit said. Profit. He had his profit. Let me ask you something. A profit. A profit had to say it. That's messed up. Spelled differently. Profit. Um, it's interesting because isn't it important to know who Charlie Manson is? Isn't it important to know? And I'm not saying Jesus Christ is Charlie Manson. Yes, you, Christians don't freak out on me here. Just stay with me. Um... We talked about rapists earlier. So let's see. You hate rapists. So you're not going to teach your daughter to avoid rapists because you don't want her to know about rapists because you hate rapists. No, it's important to know that rapists are out there. Therefore, even if you hate Christ, and I do not hate Christ, that's not what this analogy means. Even if you hate Christ, don't you think it's important to know the teachings of the basis of the entire establishment of the West? The atheist group targeted the school after a local community member complained. He was afraid to bring it up themselves, so he came to us, said Rain, Ryan Jane, law clerk for the Freedom from Religious Foundation, Religion Foundation. In areas that are predominantly Christian, the backlash that non-Christians receive when they speak out against government endorsement of religion can be very severe. It'll be very interesting to see um, how they like it when they don't get to speak. Or do you think the government is somehow going to like your organization more than the Christians? Obviously, they're not Christian or they'd be stopping it. So if they're not stopping it, what, are, are they? do you think Hillary Clinton or uh, uh, John McCain or Jeb Bush are members of the Freedom From Religion Foundation? So they're going to let you speak, right? But nobody else? No, they're going to come for you next. You're tying your own noose, you moron. Jesus was a, historic, a, fig, a historical figure, it goes on, whose crucifixion and baptism has commanded almost universal assent by historians. And if the atheists are arguing that the mere portrait of the historic man is an endorsement of religion, then doesn't that mean the removal of that portrait is an attack on religious expression? When did freedom for religion, religious expression as championed by the First Amendment transform into freedom from religion? expression. Isn't there the First Amendment? And isn't there something inherently wrong with forcing Christians, or anybody for that matter, to pay taxes for public schools which routinely suppress their beliefs? In fact, atheists can make the same argument, and they routinely do. Hear me out. You see what it's saying? You take Christians' tax money, and yet their teachings can't be taught there, even as a matter of history. It says the thing, but yet, and yet, you want Christians to pay taxes, don't you? The thing is, Christians and atheists are constantly battling each other for influence over public education. But if we were to remove the government from education, a separation of school and state, there wouldn't be a conflict in the first place. That's that's the same thing I said about religion. Get government out of religion. Government should never have okayed same-sex marriage. Government should have said it's up to the churches, we're out of it, and make it a legal matter. 
make it work. And don't tell me, no, you have to be able to get married and you can't leave your belongings to your significant other because that's BS. People leave their significant uh, leave their entire belongings to their cat. It, it's well, many people, many nutcases have done this. So don't tell me you can't because you can. If you can leave it to a cat, you can leave it to your gay lover. Isn't there something inherent, or I read that, I'm repeating myself. The thing is, Christians and atheists battling each other have led to this problem. The greater sphere of public, as opposed to private education, the greater the scope and insens insensitivity of conflict in social life. Austrian economist Murray Rothbard wrote, Common sense here at last. For if one government agency is going to make the decision, sex education or no, traditional or progressive, integrated or segregated, etc., then it becomes particularly important to gain control of the government and to prevent one's adversaries from taking power themselves. Hence, in education as well as in other activities, it says, the more that government decisions replace private decision-making, the more various groups will be at each other's throats in desperate race to see if that one is the only decision that will get a viral, get a vital area that goes away. And he continues with the most common sense, sense paragraph ever written. If education were strictly private, then each and every group of parents could and would patronize its own kind of school. Well, see, now all the non-Christians are like, hey, hey, Sam's right. A host of diverse schools would spring up to meet the varied structure of educational demands by parents and children. Some schools would be traditional, others would be progressive. Schools would range through the full traditional progressive scale. Some schools would experiment with, with, experiment with egalitarian and gradeless education. Others would stress the rigorous learning of subjects and competitive grading. Some schools would be secular, that is non-Christian. Others would emphasize various religious creeds. Some schools would be libertarian and stretched the verse, stressing the virtues of free enterprise, and others would preach various kinds of socialism. And guess what? They would still have to learn about each other, wouldn't they? I'm not gay. I'm glad I know what a gay person is. In other words, a free market system of education would give parents more options over their children's schooling. I do like watching gay women. I, I just said it on the evil show. Again, I've told you, I'm a rotten Christian. Why do I do these shows? Because I do think that you are supposed to use your time and your talent towards something. And um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm terrible to be a spokesperson for a religion, but I am, in fact, a spokesperson for using the time and talents that you're given the best that you can. And in some ways, I hope that this show does that. I, I would hope so. If God says, what did you do with your time and talent? Well, God, for the most part, I just tried to eat. I was totally lost and had absolutely no idea what was going on whatsoever, but I did manage to come up with the correct views and try. That's my answer. Assad to West. If you are worried about refugees, stop supporting terrorists. That friend's the dumdy of the day. Once again, going to Obama. Let's get our dumdy music ready. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I got to turn it off. If I use too much, they won't let me uh, put the video up. RT, Europe is not dealing with the cause of the current refugee crisis. Syrian president, and here he is on Truth Cam, Fact Cam, Assad. President Bashar Assad said in an interview with Russian media, RT, among them, adding that all Syrian people want is security and safety. Do you realize that I, I think Assad is a, a pretty, I don't know, not, not a really great person for a number of reasons. But compared to ISIS, he's the Mother Teresa. And yet we have funded what has become ISIS to defeat him. That's like saying... You use the entire task force of a police agency to arrest the school bully and you allow terrorists to bomb the Capitol. That's the equivalent, okay? That is the analogy of how stupid this is. 
It's and, and let us remember, you can go back to uh, this. Uh, I think it was posted like four or five days ago. Assad was willing to surrender to us, and we didn't let him. We bombed him anyway. Now Russia's involved, and they're on his side. And I, while I don't like Putin, I can kind of see why. The man gave up. That's like kicking someone when they're down. Your tax dollars kick somebody when they were down. How do you feel about that? He already gave up. It's not about that Europe didn't accept them or embrace them as refugees. It's about not dealing with the cause. If you are worried about them, stop supporting terrorists. That's what we think regarding the crisis. This is the core of the whole issue of the refugees. If we ask any Syrian today about what they want, the first thing they would say is, we want security and safety for every person and every family. Well, you're never going to get that, but it's a good goal. The Syrian president said, adding that political forces, whether inside or outside the government, should unite around what the Syrian people want. Well, Assad should step down, among other reasons, because the country is so divided by him that I don't think you can ever unify it as long as he is in power, even if he was a wonderful person. For that reason, I don't see how you could fix it. If we ask any... Right, right, the Syrian fabric, as Assad has called it, includes people of many ethnicities and sects, including the Kurds. They are not foreigners, the Syrian president said, adding that without such groups of people who have been living in the region for centuries, there wouldn't have been a homogenous Syria. Um... Again, Syria, and I like Gaddafi a lot more than uh, Assad, uh, but Assad is decent at keeping the heads on most Christians. Um, did their Arab neighbors really like them in Syria? No, not really. But they had been there so long that your average Muslim was willing to tolerate them. And Assad, for the most part, made sure that happened. Now, we have more Christians dying than ever as we try to defeat Assad dumb the other day. He said in the dialogue in Syria should be continued in order to reach the consensus which cannot be implemented unless we defeat the terrorism in Syria. If you want to implement anything real, it's impossible to do anything while you have people being killed. Bloodletting hasn't stopped. People feel insecure, he said. I would like to take this opportunity to call on all forces to unite against terrorism because it is the way to achieve the political objective we as Syrians went through dialogue and political action, Bashar al-Assad said. So friends, there you go. There's the evil show. Uh, I hope that uh, this, this show matters to people. I mean, like all of, all of them, all the videos. I, I hope there's something you share and get around. But especially keep an eye on this and the information that I gave you in the CERN um, coverage. Because, and again, mediaspeaks.com. Because these time scales matter. And um, be, be on your guard. If uh, well, What do I mean? I mean common sense. If an explosion happens near you, don't rub your eyes. Don't, don't keep your hands away from your mouth no matter how much it burns. Um, send radionucleides and chemicals through your whole body much faster if you do that. External radiation or chemicals or biological agents aren't nearly as bad until they get in through your eye, ear, or nose gate. Uh, mouth, any of that. Um, if if a car bomb goes off, um, you don't have to be a Christian to do this. Uh, am I saying don't help someone? No, I'm saying be very very careful because a lot of times you will have a you'll have a bomb a car here, and it'll blow up, and everybody runs over to help, and then this blows up, and now you've killed even more people. A couple things you. Um, be willing to help people but be willing to protect yourself if it comes to that um, who knows what the following days have hopefully it's not uh, hopefully CERN is not the opening of the bottomless pit am I saying it is? no am I saying it's possible? most definitely um, it's Shemta somebody believes in it and even if you don't remember what it means and for those of you who are Christian like I am good night friends and I mean it tonight God bless this could be crazy.